This is Laborts, and it is so nice to have you here. These are the paints you need. I primed everything with Vallejo's black primer, and these are the kind of brushes I'm using this time. First, we start applying Katachan flesh on the door with a dry brush. The brush is a little bit wet. I dip it in water, then wipe it off on a paper towel, and dip it into the paint, and after that I wipe off most of the paint. Try to leave the recesses black, so we will have some nice definition on the wood grain. Just don't apply too much pressure on the brush and you'll be fine. You don't have to be super clean while applying the paint like this. We will fix everything later where we don't want this color. Then I use Steel Legion Trap to highlight the surface of the door. As you can see I leave a bit of the previous layer and do not cover it all the way and I use less moisture in the brush and a bit less paint compared to the previous step. But most importantly I apply the paint gently like when walking Granny through a red light because she is so slow we can't make it on the other side of the road while the light is still green. After that I highlight the top right part of the door using Ushapti Bone. I want to create an effect that light is coming from the left. It will be a super simple OSL effect, like uh, when Granny is trying to find her room with a flashlight in the middle of the night and you can hear her as she bumps into the wall because her vision is not what it used to be. Now we mute back the Ushapti Bone with some browning so our door will look nice and saturated. Use two thin coats. We don't want the ink to pull in the crevices. We are not using it as a wash, okay? Or I will slap on your tiny hand. Okay, let's paint the metal parts and the stone frame of the door with ashen grey. Wait, Papa Laborts, we are not painting NMM on this, right? Now hear me out. When you hear the word NMM, you think about something super shiny and reflective. Guys, these doors are old like Granny Laborts. They are not shiny anymore, just some old, dusty and dull metal in a dungeon. Having said that, painting these are the most time consuming part. But apart from this step, we are only dry brushing. As you see, I'm not being super neat here either. If a little grey hits the wood, no big deal. We are going to dry brush over this layer as well, so we will cover up our mistakes in a lazy and efficient way. As you can see, for the door frames, I switch back to my Citadel dry brush and just slap on the paint. I'm not dry brushing, just applying the paint regularly. Now we mix some Talan sand to the ashen grey and start highlighting the door frame and the stone tile before the door with dry brushing. On the ties, I'm using a stippling motion to create a rough texture and to blend in the new color. We want to apply paint to the left side of the door, so we can enhance the effect that the light is coming from the left. Ok, now with pure Talan sand, we dry brush the door frame and metal parts. Use very little paint and almost no moisture in your brush. A tiny bit allowed, but if you use more than that, then uh, you are going to create streaks on the surface. And you only want that if you'd like to have a big slap on your tiny hand as well. As you can see, I'm focusing on the parts where the wood part of the door is highlighted. Don't worry about painting over the wood parts a bit, that's okay. On the tile, use the same stippling motion like before, just reduce the highlight area. Alright, for this door I forgot to paint the metal parts with the uh, ashen grey, so I am doing it now with some careful dry brushing. After that I apply a little bit of administratum grey to the right side of the door. I try to pick out just the edges, so it will indicate that it's the dark side of the door thanks to the cold light grey.
For the other side, I use a little bit of ice yellow. Wipe off your brush well on a paper towel so there is only a little bit almost dry paint between the bristles. We are basically edge highlighting in a fast and dusty way. Dry brushing usually leave a dusty finish, but that's perfectly fine because these doors are in a cold, dark dungeon. Now for the school door. This one is a bit slower, but the steps are basically the same with a few exceptions. First we apply Katachan Flash like we did with the rest of the doors. Start highlighting with the mix of Ashing Grey and Talan Sand. We want to create the OSL effect the same way as the light is coming from the top left part. Same thing with pure talent sand. I'm using it on the scrolls and frames as well. If you apply it a bit too much to the frames because they are raised more, that's okay. We will fix that later. I do not apply talent sand all the way. As closer I'm getting to the ground, I apply it less and less. To increase the opacity of talent sand, I pick out some of the school with a regular brush. This is a little bit of layering, but it's quite fast just roughly applying it over the top part of the scrolls. Not all the way, just where we dry brush talent sand previously. After that, I glaze some black where I feel like the frame could use a more shadows. Just two or three thin layers and it's done. To push the contrast a little more on the scores, I overbrush some Ushapti bone and reduce the highlight areas. Overbrushing is similar to dry brushing, but I use a regular brush with moist paint, but the paint is not runny. As you see, it dries up pretty fast on the brush and that's a good consistency for that. We don't want the paint to flow into the recesses and lose our shadows. Lastly, I dry brush some administratum grey to the right side of the door frame like I did with the previous ones and the school door is done. Now all we have left with is the bridge. That will be only 4 step guys. We will start with ashing grey. I switch to a larger dry brush to speed up the process. I mostly use stippling and just roughly apply the paint all over the surface. Don't try to cover the surface nice and evenly. The rougher and patchy it looks the better, ok? This is not granny's batching. Don't need to be super smooth. Where you feel like there are some dark spots left, just wipe off the paint from your brush more on a paper towel and use stippling. Since the bridge looks evil and demonic, I continue the process with Tasgor fur. This reddish tone brings out evil more. I apply the paint the same way I did with the previous layer, but I only cover 70% of the surface. to create the OSL effect here as well, so one side of the bridge will be more illuminated than the other. So when we apply Steel Legend Red, don't go all the way to the other side of the bridge, just like 60% and only increase the opacity of the color on one side. Lastly, we dry brush Talan Sand where we want to create the brightest part on the bridge. Same dry brushing method like we did before. You can apply it on the side of the fangs too to increase the effect, just don't go all the way with that color, otherwise the OSL effect will look less believable. And that's it guys, these doors took like 15 to 20 minutes to paint one. 
and the uh, same goes for the bridge. I think they look quite okay for that much time and you can do all this over the weekend and you will still have some quality time with Granito. So thank you for joining me on this little painting adventure. A huge thanks to my patrons who support these kind of videos. With special shout out to Jonathan Road, God by the Dom, Trying to Paint My Eyes, Jonathan Mausner, Ruzak, Vlad D, Earthapple21, and Paints and Games. If you want to support the work of Papa Labors, you can do that on Patreon, where you will have early access to these videos and vote on the next mini. Or maybe you need a little bit of extra help from Papa Labors. Online coaching is now available. Now, I hope the rest of your day will be as smooth as a granny's butt chick.